Hello, welcome to Ram at Home's challenge number nine. This week we're going to be making a cabinet of curiosities or a mini museum which if you've had a go at some of the previous challenges you could have a go at popping your creations into it to make your own little mini museum or if you haven't had a go at the challenges and would still like to have a go at this you can do and you could just go um, and find things that you like in your garden or if you go on any walks and collect things little memories or little tokens of things that you have collected you could pop into your little cabinet of curiosities and have your own little memory box museum so what you're going to need is a box and I'm starting with quite a good size box this is a crate here a mini crate probably have bananas or something like that in at some point it came from the supermarket and I've also been collecting up lots of different shaped boxes here we are with the idea that I can make sections in my museum if I want to but to begin with I'm just going to have a think about what I'm going to put in the museum so these are the challenges that I had to go at I made Geraldine so at some point she's going to need to go in blue morpha so I'm going to have to find somewhere to put my blue morpha my centurion He's got to go in somewhere and also my indigo peacock origami indigo peacock so there are four things that i'm going to put in the box but i'm also probably going to collect other things to pop around them now i think they would look a bit boring just like this so i'm going to show you ways to make it look more like an exhibit or a museum with ideas of boxes um, which will help you give you ideas of how to make your own as well so let's get making first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut a plinth for my centurion for him to stand in. So I'm going to actually cut a little hole in here so that I can fit the paintbrush through there. So I've cut the hole for my centurion and then I'm just going to pop him in so he actually stands up inside the box. Now you can see it's a bit squashy so I'm going to have to cut some of my plinth down. And there we have it. The centurion with the cut down plinth box and he'll be in the museum like that. I've got another one of these boxes so I think what I'm going to do for my giraffe is I'm going to stick that there so it comes out so we've got more of a 3D effect. So I've got another box here which I want to use. It's got these flaps on it so I'm just going to cut them off if you don't want them. And there we've got a little exhibition space there maybe I'll stick that on top here and as you can see I'm building up like a little jigsaw almost of um, things for the exhibition another one in here something could go in there go that way around so as you can see I've added some boxes into my crate box um, little cabinet of curiosities nothing's stuck down now so what I'm going to do is remember where I've designed everything to be I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to start um, collaging the back of the main box I've got a range of um, collage papers including a newspaper so you can use whatever you want for the back and the sides of your space. So I'm going to start sticking and gluing these in. Let's see how it looks. into here just to take these side bits out so we can see what we're doing and then I'm going to put some black I've just got some black cards so I'm going to stick that on the floor So as you can see I have now collaged the inside of my box with lots of different colours and 
newspaper, bits of mirror, black card, flowery um, papers, all sorts of things that I've collected and found around the house. So the next thing I'm going to try and do is pop the um, boxes in, but of course I want to decorate them first of all. So as you can see, I am painting one of my pens in gold paint, but you could also collage them, paint them, whatever you would like. Um, if you paint them, as you can see, I'm beginning to paint it, but I'm probably going to need to let it dry and then do a second coat. So I've painted most of them black around the edges, except for my gold plinth, um, and I just used an acrylic paint. So the next thing to do is to stick them down into place. A glue gun or I'm going to use double sided tape. So I'm going to stick these down now. So hopefully you can see I have now stuck all the boxes in, hopefully near enough where they were before. And I'm actually going to start just popping things in to see how they look. That one fits in well and what I'm going to do now is start putting my exhibits into into uh, each of the little boxes so there's my peacock going in for the um, Geraldine the giraffe I'm just going to sticky back a little back a little bit of a body and then stick that to the pen So hopefully you've just seen, I got a little bit of cardboard, painted it, and then I've just folded one side down, stuck some sticky tape on to make a place for my butterfly. Now I've still got some spaces around here, so I think I might go and have a look for some things to pop in it. And the other thing I'm going to do is um, find some chalk so I can write the name of my museum. Yeah. So I've written my name, it's going to be the Cabinet of Curiosities, and here it is. Found some other bits around the house to pop in it. My shell, pine, painted pine cone, and uh, a sculpture that my daughter did once. Although the arms fell off, so I thought it looked rather um, like an old Roman statue. It was a bear, love that. Anyway, so here it is, there's the little Cabinet of Curiosities. And I can't wait to see yours. As usual, for each week, we would absolutely love to see the creations you've come up with. So if you manage to make um, a cabinet of curiosities or um, have had a go at one of the other challenges, we would absolutely love to see them and um, please send photos of them to the email address which is on this page or they can either be hashtagged to Ram at Home, Ram at Home. And this particular challenge um, goes out as a dedication to Carousel and all their work with Devon Young Carers. So we're thinking about you all and sending lots of love and wishing everyone a very good week. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again next week. Bye!